Okay, so we would like to determine how to check the capacity fade in a 1D battery model. So we're going to use a 1D battery model in Comso Motor Physics to predict the capacity in the battery over a period of time and its aging over a period of time. So at the end, we should be able to plot some results showing the capacity cycle with respect to time, how it changes respect to time, and also the state of charge as well. So we will be we should make a plot of this as well during this study, showing the discharge cap comparison over a period of time, different cycles, and also the cell voltage during discharge for different cycle numbers. And also we should be able to make a plot of the state of charge at the separator and the electrode boundary, different cycles, the first and the last cycle for the different electrodes. And finally, show the plots of how the capacity ages or varies over a period of time. So let's get started. So at the beginning, we need to um, go to our model wizard then from our file. We look at our application libraries. So when we open our application libraries, it brings us to this space where we choose lithium ion batteries and we select capacity feed. We select the capacity field seat and we open. So when you open, it will take you to the interface and you see all everything defined the variables as you can see. Variables have been defined over here. So it's actually inbuilt. All these things are inbuilt in the console setup, depending on the model that we are using. Let's go to Lithium ion battery. Those electrodes, everything. You can see it has already been, the domain has already been selected. You can particle electrode. It has actually been defined most of the variables have been defined. To the flows electrodes. So this is basically how it is. And if you should check the materials, you see that it's actually added materials to it. The electrolyte negative and the positive electrode have been added to it. Go to the initial cell charge distribution. You can see everything has been input over here. So we, we go ahead to add the charge discharge cycling to it. 
So we have pair strike and we select our domain as form. That is all we select for this section. Discharge current, the shutting current we set as minus i. Minimum voltage we set as e. Minimum voltage we Max a charging current to be set as this. Then we include, we check this side, which is include constant voltage charging. And we set the side, which is the upper cutoff as charge. We would like to start, we go to the start mode and we want to start with the charge first. In this section. We want to first electrode one where check to me. You want to add a uh, SEI. As you as we add, we want to make this here. This way. As our dissolving depositing species we set it as a CI with the kind of density and the minimum mass as well. We go on to check this add volume change to we don't check this part. And also the film resistance we want to change it to thickness and conductivity that we can define the reference from thickness, which we define this way. And we also want to change the film thickness. We want to change it to total film thickness this way. From conductivity, we want to change it to 
to this. to the porous electrode reaction one. We check everything. Then we go and we add a porous electrode reaction to the second one. Corporal electrode over here to go to the electrode kinetics. Then we make here either defined so we can input our I, let's go on SEI, cycle, and let's go on number greater than zero. This way. Move to our variables. We check to see if everything is defined. As previously, those which were in yellow are now black. Everything is now black, as you can see. Go back to Pro's Electrode Reaction 2. And we check our coefficient over here, which will make it T underscore factor minus one. That is the geometric coefficient of V I theta. We go to our parameters and we check. Our T factor, that's time isolation factor. Okay, 250, yeah. So we'll move back to our first electrode two so that you can set our SEI to be T and a score factor. Our temperature should be user defined. Go on to definitions to add an integration.
where we we'll select the negative electrode. Remote to our steady. 